Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Gecko Kujo. Now, when we left off, we had waged war against the Uesugi clan, and we had taken Suruoka Castle. Yes, hopefully that pronunciation is a little better, but we have now also taken Aizu Castle. One of our vassals had actually attempted to take that, and they were successful. I can only imagine that maybe Aizu Castle only had a very small amount of units in the garrison there, maybe? Well, who knows, but whatever the case, I do believe we have some problems at a nearby castle. I'm not sure which one it is, though. Hmm, one of them did come under siege, but it's nothing in the north by the looks of things, so we do seem to have luck on our side in that way. No, it doesn't appear as though there are any people attempting to siege here, although these things... Oh no! They took Konadai Castle? Really? Wow, that was a pretty surgical strike, wasn't it? Okay, well, we're just going to continue heading down here. We're going to hopefully be able to take Shibata Castle as well as Yokote Castle. We are just going to be heading into Yokote immediately here and take it out as quickly and efficiently as possible. Then we'll be able to head on to the nearby castle to the next town siege that we will hopefully be able to participate in. Now, of course, that town is probably going to be one of the hardest because I don't believe it has ever been attacked by anyone in the entirety of this playthrough. So that is going to prove rather tricky because they most likely have, well, I would say over 700 units stationed there. That's going to be rather painful, to say the least. But one thing on our side, of course, is that we have an overwhelming amount of vassals and we should be able to very easily deal with those guys. If we are able to get there in one piece, of course, after this, as well as the nearby castle. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's try not to take too much damage, shall we? Now, do bear in mind that the text log has disappeared once again. So, we're just going to have to deal with that and just pretend that I'm killing all of these units. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, if only I was using my archery and then I could say that I was actually accomplishing something. But yes, usually my archery is pretty inaccurate these days. I think Bruce is getting old. He has almost conquered the entirety of Japan, almost single-handedly as well. Well, he does have his companions and his vassals to help him, but for the most part, essentially at the start as well, we were by ourselves until we, of course, regained our companions when we upgraded from... Was it 2.0? I believe we upgraded from 2.0 to 2.1, so yes, that is definitely something to bear in mind that I had to absolutely progress right there find all of our companions that reminds me we need to find Mei Ling once again she has still not been found hopefully we'll be able to do that in well I would say maybe another one or two episodes because I think in this episode we'll be able to take both of those castles and hopefully be able to defend them from a variety of different vassals if they decide to attack us which is unlikely at the moment I have to admit because they do seem to be Posing quite a threat to our inner sanctum, shall we say. The places near Choshi are definitely being attacked a little bit more than I would like. But what can you do? We did just take Yokote Castle incredibly easily. And now, this is where I'm going to be having a couple of issues. Are we going to be taking this guy prisoner? Well. Hmm. I think we might, actually, because he's not really going to join us at any point. Is he? Well, he might, but he has a bad personality, so would we want him to join us? Probably not. So let's take him prisoner, and we'll take his other fellow's prisoner as well. And there we have it. Great. So, now, who do we want to give this to? That is the problem. I think we probably want to give this to Musashi, or maybe Yoshio? Akagawa? Akagawa actually has a town and two villages? That's probably not a good idea, is it? Oh my goodness. Hmm, well, I don't know. Let's give it to Hoshi then. Yeah, there we are. Hoshi was a little bit lower in relation. And Yoshio and Yosong are both, well, reasonably high as well. So maybe Sasai is the one we have to worry about. Let's split the money, of course, between all of our vassals. And there is 36 units now garrison there. So let's head over to Shibata Castle before 
hopefully we lose any more units because we do have a very okay a very low morale now where is this Yonazawa is over there okay well let's hope that the vassals that took Aizu castle are going to head over there and hopefully defend it because I am going to stick to our plan I am not going to waver in our resolve here even when a bunch of units leave. So, yes, as we see here, we do have 68,000 coming to us still. Very nice indeed to see that. Now, let's see how many they have garrisoned in Shibata Castle. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, no. Let's see. How many? Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's actually not good. 269 units. That is going to be rather painful, but... They do have a huge amount of Takata units in their prisoner's hold. So what is it? What do we want to do? Do we want to head over to Yonazawa and defend that? Or do we want to take Shibata Castle for ourselves? Well, I'm going to head over here. Army of enemies. Oh. Oh my. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is probably not going to work out too well, but... If we are able to get in here without being intercepted... Oh my, they allowed us to get in there? That was actually quite the mistake on their part, I do believe. Well, nevertheless, we are now in here and we are going to be defending it. Hopefully to the best of our ability. And we're just going to be selling all of these things here. We do have some books still. And we haven't read any of them. Oh my goodness. We probably need to <laughs> change that at some point, yes. Okay, so what about this? Hmm, we can sell that, I think. Yes, the heavy Kiso horse is something I really do like. Hmm. Okay, we can sell that as well. Ah, we've read that, of course. Oh, well, thank you. And, let's see. I think that should be fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to sell all of this. Yes, I don't really mind about money, so we'll just let him have all of that. And then we'll head into the inn. And I would like to... Potentially... Ah, that's unfortunate. I was hoping I could find a traveler of sorts, so that I could ask where our companions are, perhaps? Hmm, okay. Well, no such luck. I'm just going to check again, just to make sure. Yes, okay. No travelers here. So, let's wait here for some time. And, as you can see, we have 388, which is actually not bad. I actually thought we were going to have a lot less. Fit for battle against the enemy is 917, so let's join the battle, I suppose. We're just going to hopefully stay alive as long as possible, and we will see what we can do. Now, this is quite the sight. Usually, we are not on this side of the siege, that is for sure, so let's try our very best to do as much damage as we can. Let's make every single arrow count. If I miss one, then you can mock me in the comments, but yes, let's hope. That we will be able to... Uh, yes, missed one right there. Great. Okay. Well, let's just try to pincushion their lords as much as I can. Do you see that lord there? He's walking. No! We need to take him out as best we can. Oh, no, we're taking out all the pilgrims. That is absolutely pointless. Oh, my goodness. Okay, maybe we'll need to go to the front lines soon enough. Come on. Yes, come on. Deal some damage. We are just hopefully going to be doing as much damage as possible to their inner lines here. As long as I'm hitting things, I don't really mind. Because, well, that's not wasting arrows at least. That is the main thing I'm worried about here. Okay, one more shot. There we go. Okay, now let's go over there and try to help them at the front lines. We do seem to be losing quite a few units, which is definitely not something we want to see on the first wave. Oh no, because usually when we attempt an offensive siege, we do have excellent luck in terms of us being able to penetrate their defenses on the very first wave of our reinforcements. But let's just hope that we'll be able to hold out for maybe three waves? <laughs> it would be very nice if we could hold out for three waves, but I'm not holding out much hope to be honest, because as you see, they are absolutely piling in here. There are so many units coming up the ramp. And I have a bad feeling that we are most likely going to be fighting to the nail all the way to the end. Ouch. That hurt. Okay. Well, I'm not entirely sure what shot me there, but let's hope that we don't get shot by it again. I do believe that was a headshot as well. If you can see, most of the blood is on our helmet, so... Hmm. Hey. 
Hey, you! What are you doing over there? How dare you try to shoot us? Yes, take him out. Yeah, that's what you get. How dare our gunners let that guy just shoot away uh, without a care in the world, no less as well. That is terrible. Okay. Hmm. Well, I was hoping that we would defend a little bit better than this so far, but we'll see. This is the third wave, I do believe, so we should have a good time of it. <laughs> oh, no. Let's try this. Come on. Let's just charge in straight here, shall we? Oh, no. Wow. I do believe I was shot by a gunner there. Yes, that was most likely a gunner doing that much damage. Please don't let Bruce get taken out on the third wave. That would be terrible. We need him to stay alive for a lot longer than that. He is the one that can absolutely slaughter all of these units. And, well, we only have... Oh, we actually have quite a few units, but they're scattered around the various... Well, I would say gunner nests and archery nests around the thief. So, let's just try our very best here. Not to... Wow, that was bad. Okay, please don't get hit again, Bruce. Oh no, I am so worried now. I am seriously worried. No! Oh, goodness me. Okay, come on, don't let that guy do more damage. Mounted officers, oh no. Okay, come on. What we need to do, though, is we need to extricate ourselves from the situation, because, as you can no doubt tell, yes, <laughs> We are losing the ground, so we are going to need to retreat strategically here, and we'll see what we can do. Let's do this. Come on, take them all down. Oh yeah, that's what you get for pursuing Bruce Berthild. So, let's see what we can do. Hopefully help out our gunners a little bit. We cannot get separated, though, from the remainder of our reinforcements. So if I head over there, those fellows over here coming in, they're definitely going to cause us quite a great deal of pain. So, how many units have we taken out so far? Actually, quite a lot. 343. Not bad. And they still have 84, which is terrible. So, let's see what we can do to these guys here. Yes, that's what you get. Now, I don't have any more arrows, do I? No, I have no more arrows. So, we're just going to be extracting here. And we will hopefully be able to meet our various defenders that will be coming out of our garrison. Oh my. That's not enough. That is seriously not enough. Okay. Well, <laughs> we need to stay alive. That's all I can say. Oh, Elite Naganata Monk. Doing a great deal of work right here. Very nice to see that. Let's try and assist him as much as we can without getting killed. Yes. Okay. Good work. Whoa, he's doing work right here, this Naganata monk. He was eventually taken out, but goodness me, he did a lot of damage. That is very nice to see that. Goodness me. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we have a good chance. If I don't get shot again, we have a good chance of being able to stay alive here. Come on. Let's do this. This is one of the first times, I believe, that we've actually been able to get into a siege defense. Successfully, might I add. So, even if we do fail, I do believe it is rather successful in many ways. So, not bad, if I do say so myself. And now we just want to get in there, slaughter all of these units. Someone is attempting to shoot me, or at least hit me, so let's try to... Hmm, okay. Get out of the way, I was going to say, but maybe we don't need to... Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, oh, maybe they're not reinforcing again, but no, no such luck. 77 units coming in here. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, we will charge with our comrades, and we will do our very best. Where are you going, Hatamoto Cavalry? We need your assistance here. Oh, my. Okay. Well, come on. Let's do it. Let's just not get shot. If I get shot, then that is just going to be absolutely terrible end to Bruce's killing spree here. Yes. Come on. Take him out. Oh, no. No, no, no. That was an elite Naganata monk attempting to take us out. Yes, yes, come on, yes, that is exactly what we want to see. Oh, no. Oh, yes, we do need to be very careful of those. They do a lot of damage, and it's quite, well, surprising. I don't want to say that it's really surprising, because they are good units, but as I was surprised about that fellow that was on our side, he was extremely effective. So, yeah, maybe we need to get more of those. 
elite Naganata monks. We do own the monk territory, I believe, so we should be able to recruit them pretty easily. But there it is. We took out 507 units, but how many did we lose? Well, our allies only lost 6, and we lost 14. So, grand total of 20 units lost to death, and the rest of them were, of course, wounded. So, let's see. The assault is over, but the siege continues. Well, that's okay, I suppose. Let's just take a look here, make sure that we can level up our units, make sure that everyone is fighting fit, as much as they can be, of course. Oh my, this is when I wish I hadn't taken so many looters, as you can no doubt tell. We do have quite a few of them, and, well, they're not the most effective thing in a siege defense, that's for sure. Oh my. Okay, that is fine, I do believe. And now we will hope that George will be able to rejuvenate himself enough for us to hopefully get back into the fight a little easier. Aizu Castle has now been besieged, that is not too good, but we have taken one of the Uesugi clan vassals prisoner, which is great. So, ah uh, yes, we're getting a couple of our villages raided here, and look at all of these caravans, that is impressive. Look at all of these, they're just muddling around here. <laughs> uh, that's rather impressive. Okay, so we're just going to be waiting here by the looks of things. These guys are going to attack us? Or should we attack them? Let's just see here for a second. Okay, we have 74%. We have quite a few cavalry units. All of our units are rejuvenated. Most of them, at least. Hmm. I'm wondering, should we take them in a field battle? Or should we wait for them to come in? Because they might not, you see. They might not come in here. They might just stand outside waiting for reinforcements. And that is exactly what we don't want them to do, so... Hmm. Okay. I'll wait for another night, and we'll see what they decide. Let's see if they decide anything. Hmm? They're not going in. I think they might just be waiting, because... Ah! Here come our vassals! Yes! Okay, so they're going to be charging after those guys there, so we're going to charge after these fellows. And we'll see if we can get them in a field battle. Hopefully I have gotten more than just this one. Yes, I do believe we have two vassals in this particular field battle. That's good. And we are now full HP. So we can fully demonstrate the Bertil Trogonate's power. Oh yes, I am so thankful that our vassals turned up. That is for sure. Goodness me. Wow. Well, I think we probably could have taken them out now because we are full HP once again. And let's try not to charge straight on in to our opponents here, because no doubt they have a lot of gunners. They do seem to have a lot of gunners, at least. So that's definitely something we want to try and avoid, for the most part. So, well, hmm, I'd like to get our units a little bit over here, because most of them are in that small lake over there, which is pretty terrible. Okay, so... Let us just charge in here. We do outnumber them so incredibly heavily that I don't believe we will need to use too many tactics here. We are going to be taking out this fellow as best we can. If I can. Wow. Really? Couldn't take him out? That is disappointing. Okay. Well, not to worry. We are still reasonably fine, I suppose. Oh my. Come on. Ah. Yes. I suppose I will just let our cavalry swarm over them. Like the Zerg. Yes. That is exactly what we like to see. Zerg is my favorite race after all, so let's try and make that a reality. And there it is. Wow. We already took them out very easily indeed. Now, as you could probably tell, the text log has once again bugged out, so we cannot see all of our casualties. Okay, so we're going to be taking this guy prisoner. And we'll take one of his units prisoner as well. We'll take some of these because they are pretty nice to sell, but yeah, we don't really need any money, of course, so... Hmm, let's see what we can do here about leveling these fellows up. So let's get some more retainers there, let's get some samurai gunners. And there we have it. Very nice. So, Yanazawa is now fine. We do have 186 units stationed here, so I, I'm not entirely sure why I was so worried. But yes, there we have it. Now, 
We're going to be heading on to Shibata Castle, and hopefully being able to take that without too many issues. Now, let's just see here. We have 180 units. Is that enough? I think it should be. Lady Moku was defeated? How was she defeated in battle? She has so many units under her command. Hmm. That's very strange. Well, now we have Lord Kojima here with 62, so over 300 units here. Well, we're going to head in and do our very best. Lead our soldiers in an assault, and... Oh my, this is a new layout, I do believe. I don't think we have done this layout before. We do have a battle advantage of minus three, which is pretty terrible. But let's just try to make the best of it, shall we? Hmm, I think we should be fine. We do have a very high caliber of units so far. But if I get taken out, then I might be a little worried whether we'll be able to pull it off. So... Let's try to... Yes. Let's try to avoid getting shot in the face. Now, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? So, let's see what we can do with our archery here. Take out some of these guys. Come on. Yes. Don't waste the arrows. As long as we don't miss, it is not a waste. Oh, my. Really? How did I miss that? How dare you sidestep my abilities here? Ah, oh, now I'm being shot by the gunners. I have a feeling that the AI likes to shoot the player character a lot more than the other units. <laughs> oh no! I remember this siege layout. This is a very, very painful one. I remember it with some very, very upsetting memories. Oh dear. Okay, well, we'll do our best. We can do this. The gunners surround you on all sides and they are very easily able to take you out. Let's just hope that this is not that day where we get taken out immediately. So I am ready. Let us penetrate the defenses as best we can. Come on, let me out there. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's do it. Take out these guys. Oh no. Okay. Yes, take them out now. Thank you. You cannot defend your gunners for long. We will be in there in a very short space of time, hopefully. Let's not get trapped there, though, because otherwise, if you're at the front lines, no doubt you're going to be shot by those gunners. Let's use the environment to our advantage as best we can. Oh, it appears that I'm in here, and no one is focusing me. This is good. Yes. Oh, he was waiting around the corner there. Did you see that? Oh, he was waiting to ambush us. That was very clever of him. Oh, my goodness. Look at that! Wow, that is impressive. We have not leveled up for so long, and Shogun Berthild has gained a level. He is now level 42. Very, very nice. Wow, it's been such a long time. Okay. Well, we get to select a couple more skills then. I'm actually at a loss at what to spec into, because it's been so long, I didn't really know what I was going for, so <laughs> we'll take a look and we'll see if we can level up something, but hmm, it's going to be rather tricky, I think. Well, the one thing that I suppose I can say about the advantage of this particular siege is that Kaguya is still alive. Now, that is definitely something that is going to assist us more than most things, and we're just going to attempt to get up here as best we can. Let's try to take not much more damage, otherwise we're probably going to have issues at the end. Because as we know, they do like to consolidate their forces, their gunnery forces, their archer forces at the end. And it is very difficult to get in there without sustaining heavy casualties. Oh, no. You cannot take us out. Take him out. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, no, there's so many gunners. Yeah, I didn't see those, but I had an inkling that they were there, so I turned around and lo and behold, yes, they were there waiting for us. But as you can see, Kaguya does appear to be still alive, still fighting away right there, and still getting a huge amount of kills, which is absolutely amazing. But we are now waning in our strength up here, so hopefully our reinforcements will be arriving soon. It does appear as though they are, which is great. So, let's follow Kaguya, and we'll see how well she is. Okay, here she is. She's the one in the red. 
on the right there with the extremely large bow. And she is still going at it. Look at that. She is still getting many, many kills. Wow, a triple kill there for her right there. Please don't get shot, Kaguya. Please don't get shot. There's a quadra kill. Very nice. And wow, look at her. She is just absolutely insane. Absolutely destroying everyone. Oh, no. She's outnumbered. That's not good. She's taking them out still, though. Which is, wow, mighty impressive. What are you doing? Oh, no. Please don't stand there while that guy kills you. Please. Come on, you have to hold out, Kaguya, until your reinforcements arrive. Oh, thank you very much, Otomo Hatamoto Cavalry. Whoa, and... Ah, she was taken out in a similar fashion to her leader, Shogun Bertild. The Uesugi Elite Gunners are deadly, after all. They do seem to do a lot of damage, at least. Ah, that's unfortunate. Well, whatever the case, whatever the outcome... I am proud of her. She did a very, very good job. And no doubt she will be spoken of in legend for times to come. And that is exactly why we need Mei Ling back. Because Mei Ling, she was Kaguya's partner in crime. And we do need the duo back together. So hopefully we'll be able to find her. And I think that's what I'll do for the next episode. So when the next episode begins, I will have hopefully found a traveler. And we will be speaking to it, and we'll see whether we can find where Mei Ling is located. And if we can't, then so be it, and she has disappeared for a rather suitable amount of time. No idea why, but still, hopefully we'll be able to find her. One of you did say, actually, in the comments quite a while ago, that Mei Ling does not leave for China, and instead she just vanishes for a little while, and eventually you are able to find her again. So hopefully you are correct about that, I'm sure you are, and we will hopefully be able to acquire her services once again. That would be wonderful. So, we have a huge amount of Takata units here that we are going to be recruiting. Oh yes. Very nice to see these fellows. Let's try to click on the hire button appropriately here. And this is exactly why Mountain Blade 2 should have a higher all button, or at least it should have something like a tick system. So you can check which ones you want on the side, and then you just click on Take Checked Units. And that would be the greatest thing ever, because then you wouldn't have to click all of these. And you would just have to click on the ticks, and then booyah! That would be amazing. That would be really nice. But nevertheless, it does appear as though I can take all of these units. I was not expecting that, but it appears that we lost way too many units in that last bout. So maybe we'll have to head back to Kyoto as well, and we'll see what we can do about reinforcing ourselves. But there it is. We have once again taken something for Lord Sesai. Oh, he's at 100. Goodness me. Okay. Apparently he doesn't need anything, so maybe Musashi is the one. Hmm. Okay. And there it is. Shibata Castle is now ours, and we still have a huge amount to go, but rest assured, off screen, I will lead our vassals, or at least I hope our vassals will take a couple of things. Hopefully Sakasai Castle, maybe Kanayama Castle as well, while we concentrate on the more important target of Niigata. Hopefully we will be able to take that, and we'll see what we can do about finding Mei Ling as well. So... I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.